Marhaba friends, let's install Windows 10 on VMware Fusion and I'm going to talk about some tips with which you're going to have better internet connectivity, better performance and nested virtualization if your processor supports it. So let's file a new machine on VMware Fusion, the free version, I assume you have it and let's create a custom machine and from here we're going to select Windows 10 and later 64 bits. You can choose a legacy BIOS or UEFI. I'm going to go with UEFI and I'm going to create a new virtual disk. Now that this is created, we're going to click on customize settings and we are going to change some options that I need to show you for better performance and better network connectivity. So I'm going to rename it to tiny Windows 10. And if you are not aware, this is Windows 10 stripped down to its bare minimum but it's still Windows 10, so I would recommend you try out. Okay, so clicking on general settings, this looks good. We do not need to change anything here. Let's go back to show all sharing. I not, if After installing the VMware tools, we can enable shared folders. Default applications, I'm gonna uncheck this. I just wanna make the fastest Windows 10 machine on VMware, so I'm checking unchecking anything that is not required, I think. Okay, keyboard layout, Windows 10 profile looks good. Uh, processors and memory, very important. Guys, I have four processor cores. I'm gonna allocate four processor cores. And yes, the machine is still going to work. It was a big surprise for me too and for you, you all, you guys also. So you can allocate as many processor cores you have. For the memory, I would bump it up to six gigs, but it says I just have 204 MB remaining on my Mac. So, and this is very important, enable hypervisor application on this virtual machine with which you are going to get nested virtuali virtualization. If you in a check on, check, check that, enable IOMMU, then you can even pass through your CPU if your motherboard supports it. For me, it does not, so I'm not leaving that unchecked. All right, so I gave 5 GB of RAM. So display, I'm going to use 3D graphics acceleration which will again help me play games if I want to. Okay, yes, network adapter. Adapter. Most of you will use share with my Mac, which says it shares the IP address of the Mac on the external network and it provides network address translation. Well, although this is good, but we are gonna go, go with bridge networking and not with auto detect. So with this, we need a Mac address and we can generate as many Mac addresses that we want, but we are going to dedicate an ethernet card. So we're gonna click on ethernet and click there and click on yes. And it says VMware Fusion needs to create a bridge for ethernet. So type in your administrator password and your bridge has been created. This will give you better internet than the other options. So tip number one, <laughs> okay. All right, so the hard disk, it's set to 60 gigs. I am going to bump it up to 400 gigs and don't yell at me because I don't have that space but it will not pre-allocate the space and I'm gonna uncheck split into multiple files because I think just one file is okay. I'm not gonna move it anywhere. So click on apply and it will not allocate all that space. So don't worry guys. So CD, we need a CD drive. That is, we need the Windows 10 ISO and we are gonna use a Windows ISO called Tiny10-21H264 Beta. This is tip number two. This ISO has the least amount of resources that your machine will need. This ISO will use the least amount of resources. Okay, so you can share your Bluetooth devices and I'm gonna uncheck it because I don't have Bluetooth device on this machine and choose the maximum USB compatibility. All right, so let's click on show all printer. I don't want to share my Mac printers because I don't have a printer anyway. So, and I'm gonna say allow a different default printer some flexibility there. Startup disk, right now I'm gonna check on CD, DVD because we need to boot from the Windows 10 ISO. Encryption, no, I don't think we are gonna check this. Don't recommend checking it right now. Compatibility, okay. It, use, it uses hardware version 19. You should use the latest version and just it says allow upgrading. Fine, so that is good. Okay, isolation, we can enable drag and drop, enable copy and paste, advanced setting, this is very important. Uncheck synchronize time because there's just some more additional work that the machine needs to be done to do-do and check on disable side channel mitigations. 
this will enable better performance on your machine trust me guys i mean trust me this will definitely definitely improve your system performance so looks good and we went through all the options i think we did not leave out anything so let's click on the big start button play button there and i have a problem with the sound card you will not have this problem so we are booting from the windows 10 iso the tiny windows 10 iso which uses minimal system resources okay so click on next and we have install now and from here if you've installed windows 10 before on a real hardware or on a virtual machine it should look very familiar so click on custom install and i'm going to install it on my 400 gigs of space all right so it start copying installing features installing updates and it will restart you know what some some guys tell me let it restart and some say click on restart now take your pick i mean it's going to do the same thing some i don't know we will wait and then it will restart and next time it's going to restart it will try and boot from uh, the cd drive don't touch any keys because you don't want to boot from the iso again it is going to boot from the hard disk as you can see on the blue light on the top from the disk vmware is good too okay so getting devices ready getting ready and it does a lot of stuff so and it restarted again so again it was trying to boot from the windows 10 iso but we will not boot from the iso we'll let this go through and it will again boot from this and after some time we are going to meet this screen where it says let's start with the region and on this screen where it says create a microsoft account i tried this from seeing other videos and it did not work out so i'm going to domain join instead okay so once you domain join you can create a local account and uncheck how or not uncheck set to know on all the privacy settings that is what the best i think is and what you should do and so let's click on accept and after some time it says this might take several meetings leave everything to us almost there and yes we have our windows 10 installed i said we are going to have better performance so let's fire up task manager and if i go to the performance tab look guys just one out of five gigs of ram and cpu is one percent and it's not using almost not using any disk such an improvement i mean this is windows 10 uh, just under a gig of ram so yes but we still have to have to install the vmware tools so let's select vmware tools installer and while it is firing up i will show you the system specs that we are actually running windows 10 the version that it has and this is version uh, this is slow right now but it'll, it'll speed up it says i picked up my cpu the max cpu that is why we can have nested virtualization because we passed in the the our cpu all right so it did not fire up the vmware the vmware installer tool so i'm going to click on the dvd drive and click, double click on setup 64 why because i have a 64 bit system and this time vmware tools installer installer will fire up and we will click and select the complete installation you can go with typical custom i just like to install everything because it's going to be good and this will take some time again <laughs> and it will install all the good drivers that vmware has in, made for windows 10 and it will improve our system performance also so we have good system performance through tiny windows 10 we have better network connectivity through a bridge networking and we can also have nested virtualization because we passed in our cpu direct okay so once this is yes and it's complete and it's as asking me to restart so yes obviously let's click on finish and restart our system and i will show you that we can resize our skin the screen and re-logging in back in yes we have the screen don't worry about my internet sometimes my internet goes down and if I, we check the display adapters, we have VMware SVG 3D. So 3D on our drivers, yes. And if we check the network drivers, detected our network card because we use bridge networking and the driver is provided by Microsoft. We could use the driver by VMware, but so this guys is full screen. And thank you guys so much for your time. 
take care and i'm going to talk about this in the, my next video the ups and downs of tiny windows 10